If you just got your dbrand Prism, relax. This is going to be easy. In order to get a flawless installation, you must follow our instructions exactly. Attempting your own installation method or skipping any of the steps in this video will result in catastrophic failure. Our recommendation is to watch this video all the way through before following along step by step. First things first, make sure you're in a clean, bright, dust-free environment. A good portion of this tutorial video is going to be focused on how to prevent dust from getting on your screen. If you're not careful of dust during installation, you may get unsightly bubbles under your prism. Remember, none of these instructions are optional. Follow them carefully. Now that we're clear on the rules, let's get started. First, open your package and bend the spine. Remove the assembled prism and set it on the inside of the packaging. Remove the alcohol wipes, squeegee, and skull-shaped dust removal sticker. A microfiber cloth is also included to help clean your device. Now, pick up the prism. You'll notice that a second screen protector was included with your order. We put it there just in case you f it up on your first try. Peel the second prism off the stabilizer and put it back in the packaging. Lay the assembled prism on a clean, dust-free surface and seal up the box. Now that we have everything set, let's get started. First, turn off your device. It's easiest to install the prism without the screen distracting you. If you're using a grip case, take it off before proceeding. You can put it back on afterwards. If your device is wearing a skin, no worries, you can leave it on. Before we install the prism, let's take a moment to practice the technique. First, plug your phone into the stabilizer. Once plugged in, press the prism against your screen and take a close look at the cutout. You should find that it's perfectly lined up with the earpiece. At the top of the prism, you'll notice a triangle shape. Bend that triangle toward you and discard the piece attached to the back. Now, hold your device as shown and pull the screen protector tight from the triangle tab. Keep pulling tight and align the prism against the earpiece. It's important to keep the triangle pulled tight during application. If you go limp, the cutouts won't line up. Always remember to keep a close eye on the top cutout as you're laying down the prism. Now that we've completed a practice run, let's install your prism. Note that the prism is designed to secure against the edge of a table during installation. If the surface you're working on doesn't have any hard edges, securing it against the edge of the packaging will work just fine. First things first. Peel off the dust removal sticker and set it down nearby with the adhesive side up. Note that the tooth portion of the skull doesn't have any adhesive on it. That's where you'll want to hold the sticker when dabbing at your screen to remove dust. Unplug your phone from the stabilizer and thoroughly clean the screen with your microfiber cloth. Don't touch the alcohol wipes yet. You'll need them later on. Grab your dust removal sticker and practice dabbing the screen a few times to get a feel for how sticky the adhesive is. When you're done, set it back down with the adhesive side up. Next, plug your phone into the stabilizer and secure it against the edge of your table. Grab the dust removal sticker with your dominant hand and the triangle tab with the other. Gently bend the prism back 180 degrees so that it's parallel with the phone. The key word here is gently. Don't pull on the prism, otherwise the stabilizer may get unplugged. Don't worry if you see the screen protector separating from the yellow layer at the bottom. This is normal. Using the dust removal sticker, gently dab at your screen to remove all dust particles. Don't forget to dab around the bottom, near the stabilizer. Do not dab at the protective backing. The skull will get stuck and you'll be totally f***ed. Once you've removed all dust particles, 
set the skull aside with the adhesive side up. You'll need it again in a moment. Now comes the important part, peeling off the protective backing. The key here is to keep the prism far away from your screen when peeling off the back layer. Peeling it off too close to the screen may result in unwanted dust. When peeling off the protective backing, aim away from the screen. Now, grab your skull sticker and dab away any remaining dust on the screen. You can also dab at the exposed adhesive if you see any dust stuck on the screen protector. Once you're confident that all dust particles have been removed, change hands to hold on to the prism. Then, gently slide your device down from the top and lift it from the sides. Once you've got a firm grasp on the device, make sure to keep the prism pulled tight. Now, lay down the prism using the cutout as your alignment reference. If you find that the prism is sticking to the screen before you can line it up properly, just pull tight on the triangle and lay it back down again. Once it's aligned flawlessly, draw a line up the center of the screen with your finger. Don't worry about the bubbles. We'll smooth those out in a moment. Firmly hold down the screen protector, then peel off the protective yellow layer. Once peeled off, Unplug the stabilizer and set it aside. Now comes the easy part. Using the squeegee, start at the middle of your screen and force out any air bubbles toward the sides. Any smaller bubbles can be guided out by applying pressure with your finger. At this point, you're likely noticing that the edges and earpiece cutout are not sticking down. Let's take a moment to fix that. Grab your alcohol wipe and use firm pressure to rub the edges of the screen protector. With the power of science, all edges should now be stuck down. Finally, use your microfiber cloth to wipe down your screen. Done! You can now add Certified Prism Installer to your resume. If you have any questions, you know how to reach us. If you're still here, chances are you f***ed up the whole thing. Skip back to the beginning and try again with the second prism. To reuse the stabilizer, just remove the cap and swap out the screen protector. Good luck.